I have new pots and today in this video we are going to be potting up some beautiful succulents. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. It's been one year and one day ago when I grew this Echeveria Rococo from leaves. So yes, it is the 31st of May. Anyway, this is the mummy plant that I got over a year ago. When I got this, it wasn't this big. They're quite small. And from this plant, when I potted it up, a few of the leaves have fallen off. And this is now the result. And... That translucent leaf in the center there, that tells me that this plant needs to be watered because the soil is dry. It likes water. So this one's I watered yesterday, but this one I need to water now. And I have been growing this in my protected zone over here, which I have been over there actually <laughs> from the round. So I'm just been moving things around because I want to, I lost a spot now. So this one is another plant, but this one I have to put it here next to bubble gum, which is growing. So this is also a baby from a bubble gum bought or grown at the same time. And I knock off one of the leaves or leaf over here. And so now hopefully next year, another plant like this will grow. So this is my Pachypytum bubble gum that has been grown. Actually, this is actually uh, earlier. So I got this one in February last year. And then of course, the Rococo I got in May. This one now, it's in this pug mug. <laughs> and I am not touching her. I am not reporting that. But next to it, Sedum caviar yes like the fish eggs so i put them next to each other just so i can tell the difference so the rococo is much whiter and the caviar is much shinier and apparently i've been told that this one also has a scent a nice lemony scent just like the sedum clavatum here my all-time favorite maybe chubby cute plant that is not as frost hardy as i'd like it to be so minus four is the threshold where they can survive the frost here in canberra which is australia which is a zone nine growing area now this i have to bring inside because i am going to repot this one so it's in a black pot and i actually watered it or semi watered it last night we actually had rain that's the <laughs> when I say semi-watered because it was only semi-rain last night but it still got a little bit of uh, water on the leaves but anyway I'm going to bring this inside and we're going to repot first of all I'd like to introduce you to my container full of pots these are only some of them. I only took one each to show you. So I've got more of them. But anyway, this is a beautiful look garden. It's just look at how pretty the blue and sort of the red. It's kind of orangey red. Beautiful house on the prairie. <laughs> it's got a hole, but this one, I don't really like the hole because the hole is very, very small and it's only seven millimeters or less than a centimeter. Tiny, isn't it? Now, anyway, I am going to make this hole bigger because the size of the pot is about 19 centimeter. So I have to make it go over to the two bits, so about to here. That's how big minimum I'm going to make the hole. I've got a 23 millimeter uh, drill that I'm going to use to enlarge the size of the whole of this because any succulents that I put in here, say for example if I planted some Echeverias, then it will rot or some Pachypytum they don't really like water, especially Agavoides, they don't like water so if I plant an Agavoides in here I have to keep the soil dry unless I use a tropical soil mix so which means I have to water this pot with the size hole maybe once every three months <laughs> 
if I use a tropical soil mix. Now, if I have to use my, oops, I got my budgie landed on my head. Oh my goodness, Pedro. He just landed straight on my forehead. Oh my goodness. Now, are you getting old or what? Now, I forgot what I was saying now. So anyway, if I use uh, my master succulent soil mix, I remember it again. Now, my master succulent soil mix, if I put in this pot planted, say, moist only, and I have to keep it out of the rain and water it maybe once every three months because that's the time that it will dry up in our area, which we've been getting between, uh, say, 30 to sometimes 90 uh, percent humidity depending on the rain because lately we've had I think one stage we got like 89 percent humidity but anyway so you water less if you live in an area with high humidity so in the tropics I suggest using my tropical soil mix or even my cat litter soil mix and keep it away from the rain that way you can control the watering so now this ones I got two of them this is a different design flowers grow fast in here if you don't drill a hole and you use this pot to plant say crassula or sedum they love water certain plants can handle being planted in this pot but not the agavoides echeveria or the especially the champagnes type now so these two I'm gonna drill a hole but before I continue where I got this pot is from Lena Ross or LN I'm gonna put a link LN succulents or something like that on Facebook but she only does local so if you're if you live in Canberra Australia you can uh, get in touch with her and buy some pots from her and also plants the caviar that you saw earlier that's from her as well so anyway this one flower grows fast has to be drilled a hole fast as well so now look at this so I'm just gonna quickly go through the pots look at that beautiful now this one has got a reasonable hole in yeah, 17 millimeters I'm used to millimeters so, um, hole or size hole so I don't need to drill a hole or make the hole bigger on this one that's perfect and look at this one oh gorgeous isn't it like the thumb I could just say this is all handmade by the way so I can imagine the person making this the potter putting the thumb print here and I bet you if I look closer I can see maybe his or her fingerprints on that one do you think so and this one also has a yep a beautiful it's got a beautiful excuse my budget starts talking it's getting on my shoulder if it's got a beautiful like sort of drain oh okay Pedro I'm losing my track again so it sort of drains out into the center because the center is smaller yeah you disappoint I know and yeah, the, the back, the side of it sort of bellies out to hold more soil, more root growth. So you can put a plant in here that looks quite small and it can grow out really big with the amount of soil that it will hold. Now this one, okay, this is, I actually took every color of this one that she's got available and she gave me a couple of freebies with this one. This one has got a beautiful big hole is over an inch so look at that Isn't that gorgeous so this is beautiful pot to use for sensitive or water sensitive plants like agavoides or the romeos the diva plants i call them because they are just very uh, finicky isn't it baby p so anyway it comes in different colors and look not gorgeous and look at the feet i like the feet it's so cute look and you got pink blue beautiful purple more like lilac and yellow this one this is now a different pot look at this one beautiful and this one the pot uh, the whole of the <laughs> pot is reasonable i can accept that i don't need to drill a hole only on this okay I'll just show you this one too not beautiful oh gorgeous look at that gorgeous but anyway this one I didn't even inspect this one see the side so there is a front and the back but still beautiful is that a sunflower or a daisy sunflower we'll call it sunflower now we're not a Van Gogh and I'm not gonna chop my ears off now this one <laughs> Pedro's 
laughing. Yes, I know. I'm not going to chop my ears off and he laughs. Anyway, <laughs> now this one. Did you get mommy's sense of humor as well? So, man, where's the budgie? Ah, I'm not going to turn this. Anyway, Pedro, later I will show you. Now, this one now has got a big hole as well. And this is nice and pretty. Little mushrooms growing everywhere. Gorgeous, cute narrow or should I say it's like short narrow like not the steep but the hole is small so that's the reason why probably that they made the hole smaller because they're thinking it's not going to hold a lot of soil but if you're planting succulents in it so say for example for this size pot I can I can only plant say maybe cactus and also Haworthia is not advisable to use these pots only for sedum uh, Crassula, Andromiscus, uh, shallow rooted succulents are the only ones I will be planting on this one. Oh, look, the blue one, and that gorgeous, that beautiful, the blue, the blue, and feet as well. So, this one's got feet, and those ones got feet as well, which is really nice. You need feet for air circulation. This one, it doesn't have any feet, so I might have to lift this up. Well, make the hole bigger first and also lift this up or put some eggs on it. So that way air can circulate and go through the soil and the plant doesn't rot. Oh, this one too. Not gorgeous. This is very, very, very nice and heavy. Yep. Prosip, good prosip. I don't know what he's talking about, but anyway, he just makes up his own words, aren't you, baby P? And look at that. Beautiful. Look, gorgeous, Pedro, gorgeous pots. And also that one. I like that pot, beautiful as well. Small hole, need to drill holes on that one. So I think I put away the ones I want to drill holes with. But, oh, this one too, nice and big. This is like quite a big pot. So definitely make the hole bigger. So maybe add another couple more holes. So I've got one, two, three spots I'm gonna drill holes in. I don't know, it depends what I plant in this one. I still have to think. So anyway, this one now, I'm not gonna use this for my <laughs> caviar, although I'd like to. And if I do, actually, I might actually use that, but I think the caviar would look better on this one. Oh, look at that, gorgeous. Yeah, I know, and it's got a big hole so it can drain down. That's so cute. I know it's so cute, baby P. So anyway, you want to come here? Come. I should really go. Oh, let's kill the pot. Look, baby P. Oh, my goodness, Pedro. Come on. Come. Come, baby P. Come on. Come to mommy. I'm trying to coax, coax him to go into the front of the camera, but he doesn't like it. But anyway, we're going to start potting up now. Hello, baby bird. Oh, the cutie bird. Okay, what are you going to do? You don't like being in the shadows, aren't you? But mommy, look, it's pretty, Pedro. You wanna come there? It's just crawling up my arm again. You're gonna craw crawl up mommy's arm, look. Hey, baby, peepee. -pee. <laughs> look, say hello. Oh my goodness. Welcome to my potting station. So I have a lot of plants here that I need to repot, but I'm not gonna be showing that on this video because we're here to pot up or repot this sedum beautiful caviar that eventually one day is going to turn beautiful orangey pink once it matures. It's already starting to show some coloring so hopefully it will get to look like this <laughs> when it matures. But So I've got the pot and I've got my mesh to stop the rocks from falling through in the bottom which is my granite or big pieces of granite. Put some soil, enough. just enough. And I actually left this overnight to dry up. So it's all nice and dry. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be reusing the soil that it came in because the plant really looks happy where it is. So I'm not gonna overthink it and change it because if I change it as well, it's winter at the moment here in Australia. So the plant or the roots can suffer. So the less stress it goes through, the better it will be for the plant. Now, it actually sits quite higher than the pot. We're gonna have to remove some soil, but not too much. And also, as you've seen earlier, uh, one of the other plants, the Rococo, I hit it with uh, when I was 
I'm showing you this caviar and the leaves fell off quite easily and this one is the same the leaves also fell off quite easily but I already harvested a few leaves for propagation so I can have some backup but this one now I don't want to lose any more leaves which I'm sure I'm still gonna lose some but just to minimize the leaf loss and I'm gonna put some bubble wrap on top and I'm gonna tip this over like so and of course first we're gonna have to squeeze the pot just in case it's got a lot of roots and it's gonna be root bound so we're gonna loosen the soil and this is probably gonna drop all over the place so I'm best getting a container normally I would do <laughs> do this down in the ground but since I've got the video camera so this is just for your eyes only. I don't normally do it like this. So normally I'll do it properly, but this will do. So I tip it out. And of course, it's trying to hang on, isn't it? Ah, look at that, beautiful. So, excellent. Now, so since all the soil's intact, we're gonna shimmy it a little bit into here. So I'll put it on the side and shake it up. So look at all the roots there. So we're gonna tease it from the bottom. I'm gonna be feeling my way through. So I'm gonna tickle, 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 tickle the roots. Okie dokes. So now we're gonna push it all along and I'm using my Master Succulent Soil Mix for this one. Now, that should be enough to fit in there and if not, we're gonna have to shake some more. Okay, I'm just squeezing the soil around it now. Okay, now, Will you be flat enough? So I'm still teasing in the bottom. So every time I tip it, my fingers is doing its magic underneath. So there you go. <gasps> don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Okay. That's good enough. If I turn you around here, you can see, oh, tiny, tiny leaves. So that's okay. That's fine. When this eventually grows, it can have some room to move or grow into see this one here the small one there's a small one on the side there so I'm gonna have to probably get a little bit closer here so you can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna get some soil and I'm gonna jiggle my way underneath just filling up the gap underneath these plants here there you go and I lost another leaf. Three is not bad. It's actually lucky. We are going to top this up, level it up, and put some dressing. We're gonna put some little magic. So, since they are like eggs, we're gonna get this one. Okay. Do I put this little girl to look after this? <laughs> look. She's like gathering flowers, but it might as well be eggs, isn't it? Look, I'm crooked. Okay, look how cute that is. So a little basket, pretend there's some caviar in it. So we're gonna put that there. But if I put it there, this is going to fall off. So it's got a hole in the bottom. And now what I'm gonna do. So this is a stick that comes with the plants when you buy plants normally uh, from the garden center. Yeah, so it's got succulent. Now, this plastic stick would be handy to poke into this girl. <laughs> we poke the bottom, <laughs> poor girl. And then now we're gonna stick you in here so you don't fall over. It's like, oh, isn't that cute? Look, she's looking at the caviar. This is just granite. So it can look pretty and also when you're watering, the soil doesn't dirty it up so it will look nice i'm running out of the small uh, granite so i'm using the bigger size now first there you go Okay, isn't that beautiful? Now, I've got some rock. And, okay, this rock has got a hole. Look at that. 
I can actually put some soil in here later on and put another plant or something maybe I don't know if that would look good there that'll be good for now and this one are you gonna fit in here or look nice little uh, bubbly rock um, I going to do it this way or that way hang on Ooh, I think that looks good enough isn't it it's probably too big <laughs> but <laughs> doesn't matter well maybe we'll do that okay we're gonna give the girl some height there you go go in ah oh, that's better and of course we're gonna reinforce the back with some bigger pieces I'm looking at this rock that I put in here, my bubbly rock. And next to the girl, a girl it kind of looks like King Kong, isn't it, standing over her. <laughs> but anyway, now I can't find anything else to put in here, so I decided I'm probably going to use this flat rock. It's just a flat rock that's got some nice circular pattern, which I think is quite nice. And I need to put it on the edge there, but first... I have to fill up the edge with dressing and there you go so that just sort of sets it nicely and something's missing I want to break up this rock because or else it kind of really <laughs> looks like King Kong looking at her so um, I've decided to use this plant hang on I don't know if you can see this but this I've had for about five years. I started with one plant or one head, one rosette, I think one and a half. So it's about that size and a small one. And over five years, this is all the plant I've got. It's very slow to grow. I thought before it was sedum palmeri, but a friend of mine has given me a sedum palmeri and it doesn't look like a sedum palmeri at all. So I would say this is actually prettier than the sedum palmeri and look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like fake. So this one has grown quite long. Look at that. It's that beautiful. So now this is a good opportunity for me to break that off. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay. And this one is already sort of dead. We're going to remove that. And that would look beautiful over there, isn't it? Like, look at that. Okay, so now we're going to insert that. And hopefully another plant will grow on the other end of that one. Look at that. Look like it's made for it. So anyway, I'm just going to set this a little bit better now isn't that gorgeous now to stop this from falling over because it might just fall over I don't think so I think that will do nicely and plus when this thing grows this is not going to compete with that one and as you can see it also grows sort of a bit low so if it does get uh, longer or grow longer then I can always cut it off and then this one here that's just sort of crawling out of there there's no roots or anything I might as well break that off and we're gonna set you over here I'm not even gonna cut that off just in case another plant will grow somewhere along the stem because you never never know your luck in the big city so there you go and to hide our crime, <laughs> we're going to put the rock there. Isn't that just perfect? Look at that. Ah, look. 
So there you go, nice, simple, it doesn't have to be complicated. And the girl is like, oh, no, want some more flowers? Anyway, that's gorgeous. So anyway, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's like made for it, isn't it? Gorgeous, beautiful. I could put more plants or fill up, but that sort of ruins everything because the object of this pot is to have these plants grow some more and I would really like as much as possible to have this exclusively as my caviar pot and not have any other plant in it. So anyway, a beautiful, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Okay, thanks for watching guys and hope I'll see you in the next video. Now the label. Don't forget the label. Always oh, good to have the label because you forget and then it will be gone. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it.